Hey, welcome back. I'm beyond excited for today's video. Guess what? Guess what today is? Guess what? It's the premiere of season two of Hot Mess House on HGTV, 8 p.m. Eastern. Please do me a solid and check this out tonight. Set your DVR, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you live here in the US, if you're in Canada, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. Hot mess house, hot mess house, hot mess house. Make sure you check it out. I'm so excited. And to celebrate the season premiere of Hot Mess House, which I have dedicated the last six months of my life to, I'm so happy it's over. I can't wait to see it. But I'm doing a collab with the most incredible YouTubers, literally my favorite YouTubers have agreed to do this collab with me where they're sharing their organizing style with you, taking you on a tour, showing, what works for them. So I'm gonna put a link to that down below. You do not wanna miss this. I'm so just honored that they agreed to take part of this collab to really just share more about Hot Mess House. If you're new to my channel, I'm Cass from Clutterbug and I'm also the host of HGTV's Hot Mess House, which is about the Clutterbug philosophy. And if you have no idea what that is, or you do, I'm gonna break it down for you a little bit because here's the thing, organization is not one size fits all. And if you've tried and failed in the past to get organized, you're not alone. You are not messy, you organize differently. There are four distinct organizing styles and I call them clutter bugs. And I'm gonna break those down for you right now. And that's what the TV show is also all about. It's showing families how to organize based on their unique style so they never have to struggle with clutter again. Your organizing style basically comes down to how you store things and how you sort things. Do you store things in a visual manner? Do you prefer to have your things out, especially your everyday things where you can see them and access them? Or are you a hidden organizer? Do you prefer to have things behind closed doors and have a more minimal look to your space? The other side of that is if you're a detailed person, so you naturally love lots of categories and you sort in a detailed way, or do you prefer to sort your things in a more big picture, broad category way? So an example of this would be in your bathroom. Would you prefer your medication be sorted by pain reliever, antacids, I don't know, allergy, or would you like one basket for medication? Detail-oriented sorters or micro sorters, they prefer to be able to find something right away, so they don't mind taking the extra time to put their items away properly, whereas a big picture macro sorter, they need to put things away fast. They don't mind looking in a basket for the medication they need, they have to save time when it comes to putting it away. And so knowing whether you're visual or hidden or a big picture macro organizer or a detailed you know, micro organizer, that's your combination of your organizing style. So let's talk about the four different organizing styles and let's start with the Cricut. The Cricut is a traditional organizer in every way. They prefer things hidden, but they need really detailed solutions. Marie Kondo is like a Cricut on steroids. She is such a cricket, like us, extreme cricket. She folds everything into little pockets. That's very crickety thing to do. But again, she prefers things hidden in solid bins, baskets, behind closed doors. I chose to name this organizing style a cricket because a cricket is a hidden bug. You hardly ever see them. You always hear them though. And when they rub their legs together and make that song that they sing, it's mathematical perfection. The the spacing of that is absolute mathematical perfection and it only speeds up or slows down depending on the temperature. I also chose the Cricut because I think of Jiminy Cricket, that little like, you know, voice on your shoulder telling you the right way to do things. That is so traditional organization, right? When we see magazines or we see anything where we're looking at what organization is supposed to be, that's almost always a Cricut style. If you're looking for some ideas for Cricut organization, you gotta check out Nikki from At Home With Nikki here on YouTube. She is the epitome of Cricut perfection. And of course she's taking part in this collab. So I'm gonna put a link again down below so you can check out Nikki and her video. 
Next, let's talk about the bee organizer. Bees are really visual organizer. They love to see their things. They love to have things out where they can access them really quickly, but they are detailed too. They love a lot of little categories. If you follow the home edit, the way that they organize is a very bee. The pantry, everything decanted, everything in rainbow colors, everything super perfect, totally a bee. The reason I chose the bee to represent this organizing style is because bees are really visual bugs. They're attracted to flowers, but they're also methodical. They never visit the same flower twice when searching for pollen. Just look at a hive. It's like so perfect. You know what I mean? Where they, they make their honey and everything, their honeycombs. Bees are visual, perfect bugs, which is why I chose them to represent this organizing style. Jen from The Daily Connoisseur is such a bee and she's taking part in this collab. So I'm gonna put a link to her down below so you can check her out and get some amazing bee organizing ideas. Now let's talk about the ladybug. I I'm a ladybug for sure. Ladybugs are hidden organizers that need fast, easy, big category solutions for their home. You know you're a ladybug if everything looks pretty tidy on the outside, but like your drawers and closets and hidden spaces might be kind of a hot mess sandwich because you're just shoving and hiding. You have a real need for hidden spaces at sort of the detriment sometimes of organization, but that doesn't mean you can't be organized. I chose the ladybug bug to represent this style because a ladybug has this beautiful, perfect, shiny exterior, you know, and then they open up their wings and it's like a hot mess. And have you seen a ladybug when it opens its wings? They're all like jacked and crinkled and nasty. I feel like this represents my closets and my drawers at home. So this is why I chose this bug. And Dawn from The Minimal Mom and Catherine from Do It On A Dime, they are both ladybugs too, and they're participating in this collab. So I'm gonna put a link down below so you can check out their videos and get some ladybug organizing ideas. The beautiful butterfly. I have so many feels for butterflies out there because butterflies organize the exact opposite of traditional organization, the exact opposite of a cricket. They're super visual people. They wanna see their things, they wanna have them out in the open, but they also need big, fast, easy categories. So a butterfly has guaranteed felt messy their entire life. They have struggled with organization probably from a young age, and almost all little kids are butterflies too, but adults are butterflies too, and they struggle because there isn't a lot of organizing solutions made for their style because like I said, it's completely opposite. I chose the butterfly to represent this organizing style because butterflies are very visual. They travel from flower to flower, the most colorful and brightest flowers they're the most attracted to, but they flutter sort of aimlessly from flower to flower. Sometimes they visit the same flower multiple times. There doesn't seem like there's a lot of rhyme or reason. They're very free spirited. And this is exactly what the organizing style butterfly is like. Very visual, very big picture, not looking for really strict details and lots of categories, but needing a more laid back organizing approach. Steph from The Secret Slob and Christina from The DIY Mommy are total butterflies and they are organized and their homes are beautiful, but they're using these big picture visual categories to organize their home. So check them out if you're looking for some butterfly organizing ideas. Again, I'm gonna put the link to that playlist down below. So I would love to know your organizing style. Let me know in the comments below if one of these really register for you. And you ask all the time, can I be more than one bug? Absolutely, you can be different organizing types in different areas, or you might be a cricket, but you live with like a whole bunch of butterflies. So you've definitely gone a little bee or maybe a little ladybug, or you've gone full butterfly but I feel like at your core, you know if you are visual or hidden and if you love a lot of details or you need more big, broad categories and that makes up your style. And if something's working for you, you never reinvent the wheel. But if you're struggling in certain areas with organization, it's helpful to know how you naturally organize your things so you can set up a system that will catch that 
clutter. So it stops piling on your kitchen counter, so you stop feeling like you're tidying over and over and over again. Maybe you're not the person who's gonna open up your hall closet and put your coat on a hanger. Install hooks instead. Maybe you're not a person who's gonna use a filing cabinet. It's okay to have a basket 2021 bills and toss them in there. Work with how you naturally organize and how your family naturally organizes to set up a home that stays tidy and organized for good. So thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor and if you have HGTV or Discovery Plus, set your DVR tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern for Hot Mess House. You'll get lots more organizing ideas and some decluttering tips too. Hopefully you'll be able to identify your organizing style by watching the show and like just feel motivated to tackle your home and make it more functional. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I just wanted to share this. My friend Christy, um, she's been a follower for so long. Now I feel like we're totally friends. She's part of my experts group. She put together this beautiful video for me after I got 500,000 subscribers. And she asked if every Wednesday we do a live event in our experts group on Facebook and she asked if she could present it during the live. So I added her onto the Zoom and um, aired this video that she made me live. I started crying in like the first five minutes. She found all these old videos from my Malato 79 days. And I just, that was like, wow, I've come so far. And also I look so different. What was with the bad bangs and the bump? Not that I'm super great at hair and makeup now, but isn't that so funny to see like, no. Put down the scissors, Cass. Put them down. She also got so many of my just long-term supporters and favorite YouTubers to give a message. But at the very end, um, there was a message from Peter Walsh. I don't wanna cry. I feel like I, I cried for two days straight over this. If you're new to my channel, Peter Walsh is the reason why I started organizing in the first place. I was sitting on the couch surrounded by toys and mess and clutter and just feeling like so bad about myself and i watched his show clean sweep on tlc and um his words i don't it just they resonated with me and i decided to try again and i kept watching his show and i kept trying and i read his books and i kept trying and eventually i found sort of my groove but he was my cheerleader and my motivator the entire time and he didn't even know that he was doing it because he was just some, I was some weirdo watching him and fangirling and he was just on TV doing his thing and writing books and uh, a super celebrity, obviously. He was like Oprah's personal organizer. So anyways, this guy for me, you guys, is my hero. He is my everything and he made this message um, to me which I'm still like ridiculously emotional about it. I'm telling you, nobody except superstars get 500,000. Oh, hi. Um, Cass, 500,000 followers on YouTube? Only superstars get that. I mean, seriously, 500,000 followers on YouTube. I just wanted to say, Cass, Peter Walsh here in a chilly Melbourne, and I wanted to congratulate you on this amazingly huge and exciting milestone. Um, I mean, who gets 500,000 followers on YouTube? I'll tell you who, superstars, that's who. Clutterbug is such an amazing ph phenomenon, um, both for you and for the professional organizing industry and for the world. I'm so excited for you, I'm so proud of you. It's a hugely exciting milestone, and all I can say is congratulations. You're a real force for change. You should be proud, and um, as I am of you. Congratulations, and uh, keep building. I look forward to, uh, to the million milestone, which hopefully is not that far away. Keep organizing, keep getting uh, calm from chaos. Yay, Clutterbug, yay, Cass, keep it going. So thank you, Christy, for making this video for me. And thank you to all of you. You are the reason that I'm able to do what I love. And you're the reason that Clutterbug in this community exists. You're the reason for Hot Mess House. It's all because of your love and support. But I also want to hopefully inspire you if you love something, if you're passionate about something, whether it's baking or gardening or just helping others, maybe it's cats, I don't know, whatever you're into, share it. 
share it with the world, whether it's just you making Facebook messages or you doing TikTok videos or you doing YouTube or a blog or writing a book. There is nothing bad that could ever come from you sharing your passion with the world. So again, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.